Moon Sea. Owen lived in the city by a big road. It was very noisy. His dad drove a car. Everyone's dad drove a car. There were lots of cars, all getting in each other's way. It was very noisy. Owen was sort of used to it, but it still got on his nerves. It was okay though, because in the holidays he got to visit Grandpa. Grandpa lived by the seaside. Owen loved it. There were hardly any cars. The only noise: seagulls and waves. Listen closer," smiled Grandpa. "There's something else: happiness." Owen listened closer. Chatter and laughter. Sometimes even a jet ski. People buying ice cream and donuts. Windbreakers flapping. Deck chairs snapping. Happiness. And don't forget the smells," smiled Grandpa. "Salt and sugar. Let's have some donuts." Grandpa loved donuts. Grandpa used to be a fisherman and sail around the world. He would tell Owen amazing things about the sea, how killer whales aren't whales at all, but massive dolphins, how box jellyfish are deadly poisonous, but giant sea turtles eat them for dinner, how dad seahorses have seahorse babies. Owen would sit and listen for hours while drinking lemonade. Proper homemade lemonade that Grandpa taught him how to make with real lemons and sugar and water. Grandpa even helped him set up a little store. Then one summer, Grandpa spoke about the humpback whale, how she had swam too close to the shore, so when the tide went in, she was beached on the sand. How they spent all day trying to dig her out, pouring buckets of water to keep her cool. Was she okay? Well, she's okay now," said Grandpa softly. "She's in the moon sea with John. I've told you about John, haven't I?" Owen shook his head while Grandpa told of the time they went surfing in Australia and the shark struck. It wasn't the shark's fault, Grandpa explained, because surfboards looked like seals from below. She took a bite, realized her mistake, and swam away. And John, oh, he's in the moon sea now. Later, they strolled along the beach. It was a beautiful night. The sky full of stars. The moon huge, reflecting off the surface of the sea, making it glow like a pool of ice. The moon sea, smiled Grandpa, but his eyes looked sad. So is that where the whale is? Grandpa nodded. And your friend John, him too, and Grandma. Grandpa nodded a third time. But he didn't say much for a while. Is the moon sea a sad place, Grandpa? No, no. It's a happy place. It's where all the starfish play. They think the moon has fallen into the sea, so they think they're stars. So how come you seem sad when you see it? Oh, because sometimes I want to play with them too. The next night they walked along the beach once more. It was a little cloudy. No moon sea tonight, shrugged Owen. Oh, it's not there every night, Owen. So where do the starfish play? Oh, they don't party every night," smiled Grandpa. "If it was your birthday every day, would it be so special?" "I guess not," shrugged Owen. "Grandpa, how come you've never told me about the moon sea before?" "Oh, I thought I had," answered Grandpa, but he knew he hadn't. Back in the city, Owen couldn't see the moon sea. With all the cars chugging fumes, plus all the lights from the street, he could hardly even see the moon. He couldn't wait to see Grandpa again, even though he did seem a little sad last time when he talked about the moon sea. But the next holiday, Dad said they were going to Magic World instead. Grandpa was resting, he explained. Magic World was great, of course, but Owen would rather have visited Grandpa. A few weeks later, when Owen was playing football. Dad suddenly appeared in the playground. He got to leave school early as they were off to see Grandpa. Owen was so happy. He hadn't seen Grandpa in ages, and it wasn't even the holidays. Can we go for donuts while you guys sunbathe? Not this time, Owen. Grandpa is a little tired lately, so he's staying in bed. But it's the afternoon," laughed Owen. Mum and Dad didn't say anything. When they got to the house, it was really quiet. 
Grandpa was sat on the deck looking out at the sea. Wow, Grandpa, gasped Owen. Have you been on a diet? Grandpa smiled, but before he could answer, Dad told him off for being out of bed. Grandpa said he wanted to see the sea, but his voice sounded different, like he'd just been on a long run. Owen was about to ask him if he had, when he noticed something strange. There was a little tube sticking out of Grandpa's arm. It went all the way up to a little pouch hanging from a sort of pole on wheels. Are you okay, Grandpa? Grandpa winked at him and gave his hand a little squeeze. Owen squeezed back and asked him about the pouch. You remember that computer game I bought you? Sure, but that was ages ago. Sorry, Grandpa, it stopped working. It's broken now. Well, that can happen to people as well. After a while, we stop working too. Owen looked at the tube again. He thought about Grandpa's voice, all worn out and puffy, even though he was resting. He thought about how skinny he was, even though he used to give him rides on his belly. Piggy fronts, he called them. If he tried that now, he'd probably break. Then Owen realised something. It's okay to feel sad, croaked Grandpa, passing the tissues. But don't be too sad, Owen. I'm off to the moon, see, to see Grandma. And the whale? Grandpa nodded. And John? Grandpa nodded again. Hopefully not the shark, he smiled, and they shared a laugh. It was the last one they ever shared. Later that night, there was a knock on Owen's bedroom door. Dad came in and sat on the bed. The light was off, but Dad's eyes were red and puffy. Owen could tell from the light of the full moon reflecting off the sea outside. Owen knew the starfish had someone else to play with. Even now, much later... Owen looks at the moon sea and thinks of the things they did those summers. He thinks of the time they lay in their deck chairs and looked at the sunset. He thinks of the time they walked on the sand at midnight and tripped over twigs and shells. How they went selling lemonade. The end.